Now let's spend some time discussing the last major section of the antimicrobial chapter, the antiviral therapies. If you remember to the virology chapter, do you remember what are the three major components of a virus? Remember it's the genetic material, the genes, the protein capsid, and the lipid envelope. Very good. Those are your three key components of the virus. Another important concept about viruses that we talked about is that they rely heavily on human cellular machinery to reproduce. They use our ribosomes to translate their capsid proteins. They use our plasma membranes as their envelopes. This feature of viruses makes them hard to treat and prevents us from using any of our other antibiotic therapies. And why do you think that is? Because if we remember, many of our antibiotic therapies target processes unique to bacteria. For example, their cell wall formation is targeted by pen penicillins, or their unique ribosomal units, as with the aminoglycosides or macrolides. With that in mind, do you remember the ribosomal subunits that are targeted by the aminoglycoside and macrolide antibiotics? Just a little review here. The aminoglycosides target the 30S, while the macrolides target the 50S subunits. Very good. So in order to treat viruses with drug therapy, scientists and clinicians had to find new targets that are specific to viruses. Basically, what this all means is that a lot of the time, we as clinicians are unable to treat viral disease. The good news here, or the silver lining, is that there is less material for you to know for step one. So when we talk about antiviral therapies, we basically can break it down into two main categories. Number one, we can discuss drugs that treat HIV, or HIV antiviral therapy. This makes up a lion's share of the antiviral therapies you will need to know for your step one. And then two, the other antiviral therapies are ones that treat non-HIV viruses. We will be spending most of our time, as I mentioned, talking about the drugs used to treat HIV because that is where many of the breakthroughs for antiviral therapy has been. Outside of HIV, the only other viruses we can treat with medications include hepatitis B and C, some herpes viruses, the respiratory syncytial virus, and the influenza virus.